We're talking about manipulation of alginate, how to make alginate impressions and how we can make alginate impressions in both the upper and lower arches. In any type of patients, maybe a partially edentulous patient or as I for a diagnostic impressions or a completely edentulous patients. Now, whenever we're making an impression, we should know uh, what type of impressions it is desirable. We need to make an alternate impression which, is, which should be bubble free, which should give adequate details and which should cover the anatomic areas like the teeth and the adjacent tissues. If you are talking about the maxillary arch, it should cover till the hamilar notch region and if you are talking about the lower arch, it should cover till around the retromolar region. Now, whenever we are mixing alternate impression, we should know what are the amount materials which are used. We, we should have a rubber bowl, we should have a metal white bladed spatula which should be curved in the end so that it can uh, adapt to the walls of the rubber bowl. We should have impression trays selected according to the patient. Like whenever we are selecting an uh, impression tray, it should, suppose this is an impression uh, patient's mouth, it should cover the entire arch and in the posterior region also it should cover completely and also there should be around 2 mm gap between the impression tray and the patient's mouth. So this is there, then we have a scoop in order to measure the amount of powder and then we have a cylinder which measures the amount of water. So whenever we are making an maxillary impression we require more amount of powder and uh, whenever we are making a manual impression we require less amount of powder and liquid. The water powder ratio for manipulating alginate is 2 is to 1 that is around 2 times 2 parts of water and 1 part of powder. So whenever we mix a powder, 1 scoop of powder is around 9 grams of powder and one ring which you can see is around 16 ml of water. So around two rings would be around 32 to 36 ml depending on the manufacturer and this is around 80 ml. So if we take, first of all, we take the uh, powder and place it inside the bowl. After that we will take one scoop of powder. This is how we take a scoop of powder and remove the excess so that it is at this level. This is one scoop of powder and when, whenever you are placing this, you always sift this powder onto the water like this. Similarly, we will take another scoop. So whenever we are doing this, we have to be fast. And you need to first wet the powder particles nicely and then you need to spatulate vigorously so once the entire particles are mixed then with the curved spatula place against the walls force excess of so that there is no air bubble incorporation make the motion of 8 figure of 8 motion so that there is proper continuously smooth homogeneous mix which is bubble free. So once you have done this, you have a very good alginate impression, mixed alginate and which is loaded onto the trays quickly like this. Take the second half, load it like this. And this is ready to be taken inside the patient's mouth and then make an impression. Suppose we have a cast like this and we place this impression material onto the cast like this. And allow it to set. Once this is set, you always remove it with a snap whenever we are making in the patient's mouth. We never Try to remove the material slowly because there is chances of tearing. As the alginate has, these hydrocolloids have poor tear strength, and that is the reason we need to remove the material. Uh, we need to remove the mixed impression with the snap. Thank you, thank you for watching the video.